Hi, I'm Richard Bohr, and I'm president of Easter Seals Goodwill Industries in the greater New Haven area. And I'm standing here today at historic Lighthouse Park in the city of New Haven, Connecticut. And today we're going to be having an, actually two events. They're both lobster bakes. One is during the day at lunchtime, and the second is an evening dinner. And so we thought it would be interesting to show all of the viewers how to do a New England lobster bake. And so my friends from West Haven High School, Mr. Petavolano's videotography class, have agreed to participate in documenting how we do a New England lobster bake. And this is a benefit that raises money for Easter Seals, Goodwill Industries. We provide services for people with disabilities and employment opportunities for those that have disabilities and other disadvantages. Now, typically in New England, you would do a lobster bake where you would dig a pit. You would line that pit in the sand with flat rocks and light a fire so those rocks were really nice and hot. Then you would take the wood out and then you would put seaweed, lobster, corn, potatoes, and steamers. But because of a... Uh, it's a public park here and environmental reasons. We're not going to do that today. We're actually going to build a pit above the sand and I'm going to walk step by step and show you exactly how we do that. Today for lunch we're going to be feeding about 280 people and for dinner about 200 people. So obviously at home you might not be serving that many people but you get the gist of what we do and you can follow it step by step. So come on and I'll show you how we do it. As I just explained, we're not going to do the traditional New England, dig a pit into the sand, you get flat rocks, you light a fire, usually you go have a cocktail or two and wait until that, the rocks are good and hot, and then you start with layering of seaweed, lobster, corn, uh, potatoes, and steamers. But we're doing, since this is a public park and we want to be environmentally conscious of the environment, that we are going to uh, build above ground pit. So we have cinder blocks that we stand up. And that gives us the area to put the, the wood in. We have to make sure that the wood is you know, seasoned and ready to be burned. And so we'll line the whole area with wood ready to be burned. And then we take these trays. And we flip these trays over and we lay them on top of the cinder blocks. And this is the base where we start to layer our seaweed, our corn, our potatoes, lobsters and steamers. And then we cover with a canvas and we keep it all wet. Those trays are filled with water so the food is actually steamed. So right now I just wanted to show you the first step of it, which is getting your cinder blocks, getting your base, getting your firewood prepared. In a few seconds I'm going to show you when we start to put the tins on and fill it with water and then start to lay out the food. I'd like to explain what we're doing right now. It's a little windy here down at the beach, so we've put a little barrier of some uh, stainless steel um, sheeting that we have. This blocks the wind a little bit, keeps the fire all under the lobsters and the, and the uh, potatoes and the corn. Those are bags of seaweed. We're feeding about 300 people here for lunch. So we're gonna have 300 ears of corn, 300 potatoes. Some of the people are gonna have steak instead of lobster. So we're gonna have about 200 lobsters and about 300 bags of steamers. So the stage of the operation right now is keeping the wind so it doesn't blow the fire and the heat away. And we're going to be laying out all those bags of seaweed that you see. We got those from uh, where we buy our lobsters and our clams. And for the clams, we're going to have steam. So at this stage, we're protecting the fire. The wood is underneath. We have the stainless steel trays that we're going to lay out the seaweed. And then we're going to lay out the potatoes that are wrapped in aluminum foil. They're also rolled in uh, oil, vegetable oil and they're pricked so that the heat can get through them and they're salted also. So that's the potatoes. We're gonna lay out the corn. The corn is just in the stalk the way it comes from the store. And then on top of that, we're gonna lay out lobsters and the steamers on top. And then we cover it all with a canvas and we tuck the canvas in so it keeps the heat where the food is. And then when we light the fire, it takes exactly one hour for it to cook. We know it's done when we take one of the potatoes out from the side at the corner. And if a fork goes through the potato, you're ready to eat. So that's where we are and we'll be right back. As you can see, the fire is well on its way. We're going to have everything covered with that canvas. And from the time that you light it, basically it takes about an hour for it to, to cook. It's really important that you keep the water in the bottom of the tray. Those trays are about an inch thick, 
where we have the seaweed, the potatoes, the corn, the lobsters, and the steamers on top, and then covered with the canvas. So you got to keep water because they're steam cooked. You got to keep water in the bottom of those trays, so it's about an inch of water. And you also have to make sure that the canvas on the top doesn't go near the fire and keep that uh, also very moist. So throughout the next hour, we're going to and we'll be showing you on camera, but we'll be uh, keeping it all wet, keeping it all moisture, creating a lot of steam. In about an hour, uh, it should be done. How do we know it's done? Because you'll take a potato from the corner and it will put a fork through the potato. And if the potato's soft, everything's ready to be eaten. So we've got about an hour to go. And this is usually the time when you uh, sit back and relax. Might have a cocktail, might relax a little bit and uh, enjoy each other's company while that's cooking for one hour and then it's time to eat. Oh, 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 oh,